That's why Rasulullah sallallahu loved him so much. And that's why he loved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa so much. And that's why he loved Allah so much. You see, some of us don't have love into us. That's why we don't speak nice to people. That's why we're not nice to people in our actions, our ways, our attitude. And I don't care who it is. It's going to be husband, wife, children, neighbors, workers, co-workers, whatever. Hazrat Bilal, Allahu Akbar. When he accepted Islam, his master used to beat him, beat him, beat him. Bruise up his body, put him out in the sun. You see the sun we face here, yeah, 90 and 100 degrees, nothing to what he faced. Desert, hot sand, his bruised body will be in the sand and the sand will go into it and he would bleed. But he will say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad the Rasulullah. And every time he said Ahad, out of his love for Allah, and his love for the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this master will beat him and beat him because the master was not a believer. Long story short. And that's how Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala, he didn't mind what he went through for his love for Allah. That's why I was saying a lot of us do things not for the love of Allah, but just for ourselves. To be safe from going to Jahannam. Even though he was advised, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala, who told him, he said, when, the, when you see your master, don't say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad the Rasulullah. Just keep quiet. He said, no, I love Allah and his Rasul. That's my faith and my belief. I don't care what happens. And the master will beat him even more. And that's how Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala, who went and told the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa And the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa said, Abu Bakr, go buy him out from his master. Pay his master whatever it costs. And he said, I will share with you the cost, Allahu Akbar. Go and pay the master whatever he demand. And whatever was the normal price for the slave, the master doubled it and tripled it. And the Prophet وسلم, loved Bilal radiallahu ta'ala. And when he was freed, he hugged him to his chest. And he hugged Bilal radiallahu ta'ala because he know he loved Allah and loved the Rasul of Allah. You think we really have that love? We can't even follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for us to really love him like Bilal radiallahu ta'ala. You know? When the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed away, I was mentioning this a few nights in the 20s, on one of the odd nights. When he, died, when he passed away, Hazrat Bilal radiallahu ta'ala who packed up his bags and he left Medina. He cried and he cried and he cried. He couldn't just bear to live in Medina without the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's what you call love. That's what you call love for Allah and the Rasul of Allah. He could not live. He couldn't be, bear to go in that masjid where he couldn't see and meet the Prophet. He left. Headed out for Damascus. And one why it says that he stopped on the way under a tree and was taken asleep. And he saw in his dream the Prophet says, Bilal. Won't you come and visit me? You've left me and gone. You know, whenever I talk of this incident, I just get goosebumps. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala who, out of his love for the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa got up and started walking back to Medina. Some people say it were a few days after or months after. He was already in Damascus. He got the dream there. Whatever it be, the lesson is the most important thing. And when he entered into the city of Medina, Everybody started going, wow, Bilal is here. And everybody in the street started asking him to call the Adhan, call the Adhan. Come on, Bilal, please. We only heard your Adhan when the Prophet ﷺ was alive. Can you please call it again, call it again. So we could bring back those loving memories of the Prophet ﷺ. He never, he never did. He refused. And it's only when the grandsons of the Prophet Sallallahu Hassan and Hussein, two young boys at that time, asked him to call the Adhan. Because of the love for the Rasul Sallallahu he could not refuse the grandsons that the Prophet Sallallahu loved. You see the loving package? He took some muhabbat ki baate. He could not refuse the grandson's request because the Prophet Sallallahu said, those who love my grandsons love me. So he could not refuse their request, subhanallah. And he went up on the same spot that he used to call the Adhan. 
in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the people started crying. People that were flowing the streets, thousands as he started to call the Adhan, people were like just going crazy. Much known in their tears and their crying. Emotional, they could not hold themselves. Women, children running out of their homes, running towards Masjid al Nabi. Did the Prophet Sallallahu come alive? Because the last time they heard this Azan was in the lifetime of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You can just imagine what's going on. And again, the love that Hazrat Bilal radiallahu ta'ala who had for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he reached Ashhadu anna Muhammad, as he about to say Muhammad, he started to cry. He just could not mention that word because of his love for that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Today, husbands don't love wives like that. Wives can't love husbands like that. Children don't love parents like that. doesn't matter what you give them. Wealth, money, doctorate, kingdom, and everything put together. They bury you faster. And don't even remember your name after. Hazrat Bilal, radiallahu ta'ala, who could not utter the word Muhammad. He just couldn't bear uttering this word with the prophecy of not in front of him. Because of that love, his heart would just break down and he would cry and cry and cry. Next thing he did, he pack up and he left. He couldn't. He said, I just can't. And people were just crying by the thousands as he walked out Medina and went back to Damascus. And to cut a long story short, the same thing happened. One day, finally, he was requested to call the Adhan in Damascus. And he finally decided to. That was the only two times he ever called, attempt to call the Adhan in his lifetime after the Prophet passed away. When they asked him in Medina, and in Damascus many years after. And as he reached Ashadu Anna Muhammad the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he died. See the love? He died! Because Allah knows his heart. Allah knew what he had in his heart and how much love he had for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's what you call muhabbat. That's what you call love for Allah and his Rasul, an Abyssinian African slave. That's why the Prophet spoke to him and told him about your promise, Jannah Bilal. Jannah. Today, we, could we ever begin to have that love that Bilal already Allah? Allah. That's love. He died when he reached Ashadu and Muhammad the Rasul. He died for his love of the Rasul. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about loving Allah and his Rasul. Anyhow, time does not permit my brothers and sisters. But you know what we think? You know, when you have that kind of love and that kind of muhabbat and love for Allah and His Rasul, it automatically reflects in our characteristics. We become a loving people. We become a kind people. We, we reflect love in how we talk to people. We talk nice to people. We act nice to people because we connect to the love of the Rasul and the love the Rasul has for Allah and the love Allah has for His Rasul and has got for all of us. But that's the missing link, my brothers and sisters.